Hi brothers, I want to talk, this is a random video, nothing specific, uh, I want to talk about loyalty in martial arts and friends in general. And when I say loyalty martial art is, when I refer also to what your sensei, instructor, coach, sifu, crew tells you, um, I'm going to put it this way, and this is the way I see it. Is it white or black? That is not in between tones. If you are a good friend to me, if you are a loyal friend to me, and I'm telling you, putting my name, my face, my reputation, don't go to this place. This person is a coward. This person is not good. What he's teaching his students will get you killed. I understand you may be ha you may have a, bit, a little bit of curiosity and you might want to go and check it out, but to go and support somebody who has been proved to be that is doing a lot of harm to the martial art community just to play and look cool with that person, uh, I really think is disrespectful. It's the same thing is your sensei tells you, listen, this is cool. They train hard. But they have many bad qualities, a lot of injuries, uh, the values are not there. And you listen to several people saying the same. Guys, common sense. Don't go and, 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 and check it out. And I want to talk also about these um, so-called masters that um, all their instructors are explaining and exposing that they are frauds. Um, and these masters go up and portray an image of themselves you have to go and check it out they have usually more than one channel on YouTube two three channels you gotta look you gotta be intelligent you gotta be smart if they have more than one two three channel one channel exposing their life another channel exposing what they eat another channel supposedly teaching martial arts you gotta look it up these people don't want to work they are working online they are working just to make profit out of you um, they don't care about you they don't care about martial arts they they just care about profits about views and to make the point I was trying to make is something looks like a dog excuse me I'm sorry barks like a dog dog moves like a dog chances are is a dog. If you see somebody who refuses challenges, who refuses sparring, who doesn't come out with credentials, who has a lot of excuses, yet they portray positive, man, come on. Uh, even if you're not religious, the Bible said it, sometimes the devil disguises themselves as an angel of light to deceive the, the select, to deceive the good people. I mean, I don't like to quote much from the Bible, but it has a lot of wisdom. And and for sure, it will get you out of trouble if you follow at least the guidelines of what it means to be a good person. But, but the point I'm trying to make is when the police, the FBI are doing an investigation and they need to, to look like something because they have a profit, they have um, um, a reward to get, right? Uh, they can go and look like the baddest criminal on the planet. They could even, you know, commit crimes just to get into that inner circle. So my point with this video is if you see somebody that the whole martial arts community is saying that they are not good, they are a fraud, don't follow them. Um, they point out, don't, I mean, don't close your eyes. Just listen to what your heart tells you. Just uh, look the evidence. You gotta be smart. And and if a friend of mine goes and support that person, I mean, like I said, black and white, you're no longer my friend. Just wanna put a little thought out there in general. This is something in life. I'm just trying to apply it to martial, law, loyal, martial arts, loyalty, and friends. But this could be happening to you and your personal life with a friend, with a colleague. And just say, man, not because somebody claims to be good, not because somebody appears to be good. You have to look a little deeper than that. You have to look um, what they do. That's, that's, that's what this video is about. Thank you.